Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. First and foremost, I hope everyone's doing well with everything that's going on in the world. I've actually had a couple people inquire and I will share that because I think it's pertinent. I'm inquiring about whether or not John is working. And yes, he is. And um, we're extremely blessed that, uh, that he is working. But I think, um, and the reason I'm sharing that is because uh, for those of you uh, who know he is a pilot, and I think that it's, uh, it's a blessing that he's working, first of all, mixed <laughs> because I worry that he might get sick. But uh, I think it's a really good sign that people are still flying, people are still traveling. Flights are still being booked, so um, I think that's fantastic. In the grand scheme of things, uh, I thought I would share that. But yeah, we're doing good. Chilling here at home. I did some yard work today. Love getting outside, getting some fresh air. Anyway, on with the show. What I'd like to do is respond to an email that I got from a friend. <laughs> I call her a friend because she's been watching and following from the very beginning. I will call her Raquel. Her situation and my situation um, as with many of you, is very similar, were very similar. Uh, congratulations to her. She was just recently divorced, but she sent an email with some concerns and some things that are going on. They do have children together. I thought I would just go ahead and answer those um, uh, with a video because it probably pertains to a lot of people. So one of the questions that she had for me was, do they ever go away? Do they ever go away, meaning the narcissist? Well, obviously, if you have children, that's not gonna happen for quite some time, if ever. In my case, I don't know what's going on with my ex. Don't know, don't care. Does he keep tabs on me? I have no idea. I They're just so vindictive and so begrudging. And once you, you know, wrong them, um, like I did him, <laughs> uh, they don't let things go. The one thing I do know is uh, my birth lady and my sister carry on about my sister's divorce, her first, second, third. Her first divorce, they carry on about her first divorce as though it just happened and she's been divorced like 25 years. So do they ever go away or let things go? Uh, in their case, no. <laughs> they just keep that going as long as they possibly can, like, like a bad soap opera. Another question she had for me, which um, I thought was interesting, she had a little story to go along with it. She said uh, she wanted to know, did I ever fib? to my ex and I love the word fib. I think it's super cute. I, I won't go into, into the entire context of her email. It, it sounds as though there was a relationship starting before the actual divorce was final and went through. Um, the, of course, that was not the reason for a divorce. She was married to a raging narcissist, just like I was. So this, again, the situation was quite similar. Um, the marriage was not over and John was already in the picture. Did I ever fib to him? Uh, no. He would come at me, you, what are you doing? Uh, who's this person? Who stole you from me? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, you know what? I just ignored him. I stayed away from him. I tried to avoid him. I would just look at him and not answer him. Unlike what he used to do and lie to my face. It just it was just constant. It, 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 <laughs> I could write a book. I, I just avoided him. I just I, I just can't bring myself to look at someone and lie. Did I ever lie to him? No, I just, in, in the end, when there was grounds to lie, <laughs> I just avoided him. I stayed away from him and ignored him and his rants and his accusations. And uh, I let all those things, I, I let his imagination run wild the way mine did for 24 years. Her next question was, will life ever be normal? I don't have that answer because <laughs> I'm not there yet. Uh, I mean, you guys saw the meltdown I had, you know, a couple months ago, whatever it was. And there's, you know, still things that, you know, bounce around and, and you know, creep up on me from time to time. Um, <clears throat> one of them recently, John and I took a trip Right before all of this craziness, we went to the UK. We've done a lot of traveling and this, this is like no big deal, but I think this was like the first international trip that we had taken and I was an absolute wreck and I could not, I couldn't put a finger on what it was, what was causing it. And I thought, well, yeah, I actually had been there before. I thought, why, why is this bothering me so much? And I just, I, I kept digging at it and trying to figure it out and trying to sort it. And I finally realized that it was just old stress and, and old, it was just, it was CPTSD getting the best of me because I was freaking out and stressing and, and, and worrying the way I used to prior to a trip. There was just no other explanation. There was nothing to worry about. Everything was well in hand. The dogs were going to be well taken care of. The house was going to be locked up tight, alarm set, everything. I could not figure out what it was. 
And because this was a first, um, uh, him and I, you know, traveling internationally, this was somehow triggering some sort of unsettling fears that I had. When I finally pinpointed it, I told John that this, it was the exact same feeling I used to get when I used to travel and I was still with the ex. I stressed every time I was leaving because I had no idea what was going to go on while I was gone. I had no idea what I was going to come home to. I had no idea what, you know, kind of arguments him and the kids were going to get into and, and, and what kind of chaos I was going to come back to. And that was, that was the feeling that I was getting prior to us leaving. Um, will life ever be normal again? I don't know because I'm not there. Well, I'm just not there yet. You know, this is all a process. We've talked about this. It's, you know, this, the healing isn't linear. Uh, does it get better? Absolutely. Is it like mounds better already? Yeah. I mean, life is good. It's peaceful. It's great. I'm, I'm in a wonderful place right now, but yeah, stuff still comes up. Uh, will it ever be normal? I don't know. Is getting a call from my birth lady normal? That happened a few days ago. Really? I, I haven't spoken to her in four years. What makes her think I want to start now? You know, completely out of the blue. That's not normal. Why would I, why would I want to open that can of worms? I don't, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have a better answer, but it does get better. That I, I, that I can I can share and emphasize. I can't tell you, I can't, I can't put enough emphasis on that. It gets infinitely better as time goes by. Normal might take a little longer. So that's it. That's it for now. That was it uh, for, her, for the email and for the questions that she had. I'm super happy for her. Super happy that uh, her divorce is final. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe. Ciao for now.